organizations are trying to make sure they have what they need, including those that help others. But before they can do that, they are now asking for your help to get them the tools that they need to stay safe, like masks and gloves. Channel 9 reporter Aaron Edwards joins us live now. Aaron, while most of those resources are going to health care workers, they also need supplies so they can help those in need. to help the community each day. CMS is distributing thousands of lunches and, and Safe Alliance works to help those impacted by domestic violence. Now both organizations that help so many need your help. We have lots of needs within our community and this is just one that is um, really critical right now. 29,000 meals are handed out each day by CMS custodial nutrition and operations employees. We want to make sure that all of our staff are protected and to make sure staff members are staying safe. They're asking for the community's help to make 1000 face masks. So here's some in progress that are I've pleated but haven't sewn in the pleats. CMS board members like Carol Sawyer have been at work sewing masks themselves. She tells me they're looking for the masks to be 100% cotton and double layered. Our hope is to give, at least in the short run, each employee at least two masks so they can wear one and wash one um, and, and reuse them as they go. CMS isn't alone. We've got a lot of clients that we're serving both at the shelter and hotels, and we want to make sure that all of them have masks. Safe Alliance is also trying to protect employees and clients as the nonprofit works to keep domestic violence survivors safe during the pandemic. It gets worse too when people are in a stay at home order and they're with their partners and violence can escalate sometimes. So we we're starting to see some of that. They're working to collect 200 to 300 store bought or homemade masks. We want to make sure that they are protected and that they're safe and healthy and well so they can do their jobs. If you'd like to help either organization, you don't even have to leave your home. To donate masks to Safe Alliance, you could go to their website and fill out a form. They'll come pick up those masks for you. And for CMS, if you email a board member, they'll also come to your house and pick up those masks. Genevieve? Right. Good information there tonight, Aaron. So many volunteers working to help those in our community. Aaron, thank you.